All right, welcome back. This is part two of the five-week mini course for Eight Chords, 100 Songs. I'm your teacher, Eric Roberts, and today we're going to talk about <clears throat> the right hand, how to hold the pick, and how to count some strumming. So let's start out with our pick holding, and how I do it is I take my hand, I open it straight up, I hold the pick on my uh, pointer finger just like this, and then I just close my hand down, and I have the pick in my hand just like this. Okay, and once you have this, it's pretty easy to do. You just lay the pick pointing, pointing out on your finger just like this. You lay your thumb on it, and now you reach your hand and lay it flat down here. Most important thing to do is keep your fingers open. Your pinky sometimes sits right on this part of the guitar. But you have just a little bit of pick, just a tiny little bit of pick hanging out. You notice this is called floppy pick. A lot of beginners use floppy pick, and they just strum along, and their pick flies out of their fingers. So you really just want just a little tiny pick hanging out, and then you want your arm just reaching over your guitar and just laying straight down. And then when you strum, you're actually you can use almost like a shake your hand motion to strum down. You can get your arm involved at some point, but really it's a lot more wrist motion. That's the most important motion. So let's look at the counts. We have quarter notes. They each get one beat. We're going to use the G chord because maybe by now you've You've been able to make the G chord, you've opened, you've lined up, you've grabbed, you've tilted down, and you're getting your G chord down, and so we're going to hold our pick straight, just a little pick hanging out, drop our hand down on the guitar like this, we're going to do uh, pattern number one, which is four quarter notes, so it just goes like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just using a little motion, my arm's moving a little bit, using a little bit of a pick. Notice I just have a little tiny pick sticking out. And I'm just counting down and strumming evenly all the way through all six strings. And I'm playing the G chord. Alright, let's look at pattern number two. And you notice this, uh, this pattern we're going to go down, 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 down up. It's it's quarter notes and eighth notes and the counts go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and so we put a G chord down, and we take our pick and we start that pattern, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. Okay, now this is pretty easy to do. You notice that when we come, when I come up, I'm just coming up, just on the bottom three or four strings. So I'm strumming all the way down, two, three, four, and, and I just come up just, just like that. Okay, so try to get those two strumming patterns down and memorize your chords. And next week we're going to be talking about the three modern chords, G, C, D, and the E minor is a bonus, so we can play a lot of worship songs. All right, I'll see you next week.